He's going to forget that because I'm wearing a tie. <laughs> yes, that's true. I was running some of these ideas with my wife one night. She goes, you know, that last one, you should put something true in there. I'm like, ha, 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 ha. got some bad news for you. <laughs> Take that in. <laughs> so, I'm not single. That's good. I wasn't very good at being single. You can see I'm the guy that says the thing and wants to put it back in his face, right? Here's an instant classic. I'm at the airport security line. There's a woman whose job it is to tell me which of two lines to go into, right? She tells the woman in front of me to go on that line. And then she looks up. She goes, oh, are you two together? I don't know why. I blurted it out. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> it was awful. I wasn't hitting on her. I hadn't even really seen her face yet. It was just a joke that my brain didn't have time to tell in my mouth. Don't, don't fucking say that. Like, oh. People turned and winced. It was really terrible. True. She turns. I see her face up close for the first time. She's about 17 years old. Yeah. Not yet. Maybe next year. Who's the creepiest man in the airport? It's me! <laughs> so in the single phase there, I had a fling, which is silly fun. And then uh, one night, we had a mishap. Do you remember in the Indiana Jones series, no matter what was happening, he always managed to keep his hat on? Yeah, I got I had a hat on, I got the Holy Grail, and somehow by the end of the adventure, I was no longer wearing a hat. Everyone on board? That's the cleanest way I can say that. Don't worry, we found the hat. First place we looked. <laughs> okay. I'm not a rocket scientist, but I'm thinking in there. <laughs> Pretty sure that's where I left it. <laughs> so I've not known her very long. We're freaking out. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. She just blurts out, well, I've never had an abortion. Okay, that's good information. <laughs> If this were a movie, that would be called Raising the Stakes. I naturally suggest the uh, morning after pill, which, by the way, does not terminate a pregnancy. It prevents. It's essentially a birth control pill. She didn't like that idea. We talked for hours. In retrospect, all of her reasons fall pretty neatly under three headings. Let's discuss them, shall we? Indiana? Okay. She didn't want to take the morning after pill because, number one, she did not want to be. You ready for this? Nauseous. <laughs> she used to take the birth control pill that made her nauseous. She didn't like that feeling. I'm like, okay, I'm listening. That's not a primary concern right now. I don't know if you've heard anything about pregnancy. There's a lot of nausea. <laughs> I don't know if you thought through what could happen if you built a family with a virtual stranger. I'm thinking that too, and maybe some stomach upset for everybody. Let's focus because my boys are swimming towards the situation. <laughs> Number two, she doesn't like the idea of messing around with Mother Nature. I'm like, okay, again, I understand the premise, but we just use a condom which is punching Mother Nature right in the face. <laughs> Let's not be screwing around. We are already messing with Mother Nature. <laughs> number, number three, I can't even count. Number three, number three. That's why they do it that way, I think. You don't get stuck. Number three. Uh, She's talk, clock's ticking a little bit. She wants more than anything in the world to be a mom. Yeah, like, oh, I see what's happening here. You're going to be a great mom. So you just find a guy who's not me and you guys have a plan. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> with you and the guy who's not me. But that's not with this. I already have a kid across the street. I'm fighting. I can't have this all over the country. I'm not an NBA player. We got to. We got to work this out. She takes a break and splits for a while. I call my friend Tom, not that Tom. Uh, I call Tom and I'm like, dude, wait, I've got a problem with the condom and I, you know, I don't know what to do. And she will take the morning after pill. This is an actual conversation. My buddy Tom says, why don't you just buy a morning after pill and put it in her drink? Right? At this point, I did the research and I knew that you could buy the morning after pill two blocks away, but you have to be a woman 
going to get it. Yeah. I tell that to Tom. He's like, well, why is that? I'm like, Tom, I think you answered that with your first suggestion. <laughs> I'm new to this world. I'm just guessing. That's why we're not allowed to have them anymore. Because cretins like you would grind them up and put them in the salt shaker. I don't know. <laughs> Marty, honey, want some salt tender eggs? But I'm so freaked out that I actually entertained this stupid Tom idea in my brain for a few minutes. What am I going to do? Hang around in front of a drugstore with a $50 bill like I'm 19 eat beer all over again? Pardon me, ma'am. You have vagina. Hear me out. Um, there's a woman. She's probably going to want to take this pill, but it's emotional right now. By the time she gets out of that, it might be too late. There's a lot of semen everywhere. If you could just... Uh, you could just get it for me tonight. I could hide in a ham sandwich. That'd really be great for me. I could probably get a good night's sleep after that. And you know, I, when you lose control of your own reproductive decision making, you get a little bit crazy. I, I was like, well, maybe I could hide in some peanut butter like a dog pill. And sneak up behind her, cram it in her mouth, and grab her jaw and wrestle her to the ground. <laughs> Or maybe it works like a suppository and I just wait till she passes out. I don't know. I'm not proud of those thoughts. 